In addition to the select tool, we've implemented a, a number of other tools, uh, which will be the, the first in a, a toolbox that we'll be creating. The most important of these is the move tool um, selected here. Simply put, the user use the move tool takes whatever you have selected, in this case a segment, and allows you to move it. Um, as you can see, there you can move it along the three principal axes, which are highlighted when you're over them to show which axis it's going to to move along, um, and it'll be constrained purely on that axis. Feedback down the bottom of the screen um, will show you how far you've moved it. If you select the move tool in the center here, you can move it unconstrained. The next tool in the list um, is a simple one called the digitize offset. Now you may notice that when I selected this over here, the tool properties pane started flashing. I mean, there was properties there that had changed from the last time it looked. By setting the tool property, the offset value, probably a bit high for this data set, let's try that again. Um, the digitize offset function simply allows you to digitize offset to a specific string. Um, you need to be a little clever and careful around corners, but you get the idea of what this function was designed to do. An extension of that um, is this tool here, which is the, um, the offset segment tool, which simply takes a segment and expands it, and expands it again. Um, really very, very simple um, tools to use. There's another one, the triangulate tool, which I'll show in a different demo.